days ago I did get a request if I could make a video about how I record my screen and my gameplay. So I decided why not? So this video is basically going to be about how to nerdy record. So this is the 3DS that I use and it is a new 3DS and uh, it looks like a pretty normal new 3DS, right? Let's see if I open. Pretty normal, right? But the thing is that this is actually a capture card and that is because it has a capture card installed inside it. So physically you won't notice any differences except that it has a USB port and a USB connected to it. And that allows me to connect my 3DS to my computer and then I can stream my gameplay onto my computer. So to get a capture card there are two ways to go about this. The first one is doing it yourself which will include some soldering I think. And the second one is to get a company to do it for you. From what I know there are two companies that can do this. The first one is based off in Japan and it's called Ketsukiri and that's the company I went with because at the time of me getting my capture card Ketsukiri was the only one that was able to get me a European 3DS. The second one I think it's based off in the US and it's I think they're called Loopy. So what consoles can you get a capture card installed to? From what I know, you can get a new 3DS, a normal 3DS, a 2DS and a DS Lite. From what I know, Katsukiri also installs capture card onto other consoles as well. So when you have decided where you want to get your capture card from, you can either send in your own 3DS or you can purchase one. So let's head over to the computer and I can show you in more detail how the capture card works. Okay, so at the computer all I need to do is open the software and connect the capture card. And voila! So here you can see it shows exactly the same. I'm gonna try to do like this. So, with this program, I can decide uh, filtering. I usually like to have no filter on, but we have a bill in there which makes it more blurry and then we have anistrophic which is also blurry so I do like to have no filter we can adjust these settings that I'm not, not quite sure what it's doing we can decide I want only to show the upper screen or both maybe I want them to be 50-50 we can have side by side so yeah, there are a lot of things you can do with this program. So now that we have our 3DS connected, it is showing the gameplay. How do I go about recording all of this? Well, all I do is to actually use a program called Camtasia. So let me boot up Camt Camtasia and show you guys. So this is the program. Going to go on a new project. And this is basically what it looks like. Record button is there. And this is what I use to render out my files. Usually I go to custom production and new custom production. And then you can basically uh, put in the settings that you want. So this program is very user friendly. It's a very, very strong program. Uh, and you can also decide if you want to record only the screen, not the sound from your computer. Uh, you can have both. You can record your voice. But that doesn't work with my computers. 
I have a laptop as well and for some reason I think there's something with my computer that doesn't want to record my voice and you can also if you have a webcam you can also decide if you want to record your webcam as well so what I really do enjoy about this program is that it doesn't uh, merge everything into one file it uh, it splits everything so that you can have your webcam and then your screen recording then your auto recording and then your own voice recording so if you then suddenly decide that oh my god I do not want to use my webcam uh, recording then you can just simply delete it and everything else should be there okay so when you first get your um, capture card and you're going to record the audio you can hear that it sounds really weird it's kind of it has no no sort of strength to it it has nothing that kind of pulls it down it just lays on the very top I'm sorry I'm really bad at explaining so what I like to do is to use one of these this is just a simple um, I really don't know what to call this, but what all you need to do is just to connect one of these. You can use any uh, sound output cables and just connect it. And bam, the sound quality is a lot better. So yeah, that is basically how I uh, stream my gameplay to my computer and how I record the gameplay. So if there's anything else you would like to know or anything else you would like to see or let uh, or have me talk about how how I do things then feel free to leave uh, a comment in the comment section and I will try to make a video about it for you guys. So but also please do bear in mind that there's a lot of different ways to do things. My way is not the the best way. It's not the ultimate way. There's a lot of different ways to do it, so this is just the way I do it and the way that I found works for me. So you may find another way that you find more useful for you. So, but thank you so so much for watching and thank you so so much for your support. I really really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you're excited for more to come. If you want, you can leave a like, you can also leave a comment, and if you want to get notifications whenever I upload anything, then you're free to subscribe as well. Till next time, bye!